Hey there Akuma fans, Charlie with the Gossiper Application uh -huh. staff with what is probably going to be the shortest video on my channel, but doggone it, it is important. We're talking about MT Connect, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, look it up, it's really cool. It is an onboard software which allows the machine to transmit data to a remote server about how the machine's been operating, the number of parts it's made, the amount of time it's been uh, underway, and any issues that have arisen. It'll show you the current machine condition. Really awesome, and in machines that are from 2021 and beyond, this software was automatically installed from the factory and it's on your machine. All you need to do is have a remote monitoring software that listens to it. I do have one repetitive complaint that comes in quite a bit. People will get their ethernet connection status perfect, but for some reason the machine is not going to transmit uh, important data. When they sample, when the remote server samples, it just says that all of these items are unavailable. And it's a very, very simple fix, but let me talk about it. So from your main operating screen, if you push the control and cancel button, uh, obviously you know what control is, but the cancel button looks like three parallel block delete slashes next to each other. Push those two at the same time and you're gonna get the Windows start menu. And when we get that start menu, we're gonna look at the bottom. It'll be right underneath where you see my cursor right now. On the taskbar, you'll see uh, for Windows 10 machines, you'll see a little up arrow. It looks like a chevron. And by clicking that, you're going to see a pop-up window that comes up with all of the Windows software that's running. And we'll be looking for a very small white box with the letters MT in it. That's our MT Connect software. When you touch that button, this screen will come up in front of all of your um, uh, all of your your background information, and this is the configuration of the MT Connect adapter. This button right here, the tags configuration. If you touch that one, then this screen will go away and this screen will come in its place. Now, at the risk of over explaining everything which, you know, I do have a tendency to do. Applications engineers, what can I say? This is the instructions for the machine tool, what to send to the data collection software. And it's got just a, a whole mess load of these different, um, different items and they're customizable. But for right now, hey, let's just send all of them. So we wanna make sure there's a check mark in every one of these um, uh, features, but here's the most important one. Right here, enable monitoring tags. When this is installed from the factory, that is not selected. There's no check mark there. Therefore, there is a communication link between the machine tool and your PC, but it's not sending any of the relevant data. So apply a check mark to that box, and then we're gonna come down here and touch save and close. Once you do that, when you touch save and close, it's gonna ask you for confirmation. Then once you have confirmed it, it's gonna ask you for a username and password. This is uh, the next stumbling block for 100% of the machines that are not uh, already on someone's domain, the factory username and password, username will be administrator, the whole thing, not just admin, but administrator, and the password will be all lowercase, the word Akuma, the plus sign, and OSP. So the password will be Akuma plus OSP, all in lowercase. And since you're doing this on the machine tool, what you're gonna need to do is find the caps lock button on your, uh, your machine keypad and turn that off. And if you notice, right up here on the top of your screen where it says caps lock, if it's yellow, that means your caps lock is on. And if you type in Akuma plus OSP, with that caps lock on, it's gonna tell you, eh, bad password. So make sure that that light is off and then type in Akuma plus OSP 
and that should do it for you. That should be enough to start sending the monitoring tags to your monitoring software. Everybody will be happy. Clear as mud, right? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local Gossiker application staff. We are here to help. Thanks. Have a great day.